Hey doc, I think I've got an STD. Nah, can't be. I slept with your mom too and I'm fine. Oh, thank god. Wait, you did what? Yo, what's up everyone? Long time no see. Bet you miss me. Or so maybe you did. So who cares? Feelings mutual, whatever. <laughs> Please, come back. Bring your friends. Subscribe. I'm dying inside. <laughs> At some point in life, I'm certain you've seen a doctor. They'd be telling me, Oh no, I've never seen a doctor. I'm always well. You're either in denial, you're God, or, you know, whatever, man. But today, I'm going to talk about the three types of people who do not need to see the doctor. At number three is the paranoid patient. Hi, Ben. What seems to be your problem today? Actually, no, I got this headache, I want loud, my head could explode like that. Then got this itch all over the body that cannot stop one. Like, you see, I scratch now also. Only say I also got back pain la. Like, you see, now also like that, like blur like that. Like. And how long have you had this headache? Actually, the headache started this morning. Uh. So my boss, uh, then after he going to say that I'm fired. He said I'm not doing my work well. Say I always make complaint. I think uh, maybe I need the CT scan uh. and maybe MRI also. They say for the artery one, uh, the MRI also. Uh. I do all I uh, do the full blood test. Uh. You need to check me fully. Uh. Okay, dude, you live. Just go home, get some rest. You know, maybe get a job. At number two, yes, that's right, the MC seeker. Now, the majority of these patients go and see the general practitioner. And you must be wondering why. We know why, because you want it fast, so you can go and have the rest of the day off. Yes, we know you just want to escape work, you don't want to go to school, you're not really sick. But you guys got the worst acting skills in the world, and we're forced to believe that. Hey, doctor, what's up, man? And today I got stomach ache. I got the diarrhea, you know. Wow. Hello, uh. Okay, okay, thanks, Doc. I'll see you next time, uh. Thanks, uh. Don't forget, uh, MC. I need that to show my boss. Uh, two days can, uh. And to top it off, number one, the freeloader patient. So I had a patient, she's about 60 years old, golden citizen, you know. She came to me, not for an illness, sort of like grocery shopping, you know. Doctor, don't forget the moisturizer, huh? Then also the vitamin A, the B, the C, give all, huh? Or oh, sometimes I also get the headache, huh? Can you give me the paracetamol also, huh? You know, the Panadol? Then when I work and do the laundry, I get the back pain, huh? Maybe some stronger painkiller can uh. Oh, then I heard you also got the sunblock uh. I always go under the sun, you know Must put the sunblock, give also uh. Um, auntie, I don't think you need all these medications You're fine just the way you are You only got a bit of high cholesterol Doctor, you're very bad la Very bad la Come on la, old people like me You don't make us walk so far la Then someone wants us to spend more money man. Aiyah, uh, very bad la you don't be like that. Must give free ma. Government money. Okay, so come on guys, don't do these to doctors. Alright? We're not your dispensary. We don't do that. Come on, dude, these are for patients who really need them. Like, seriously, the worst part of it is these are all taxpayers' money. And most of you guys who come to us do not pay tax. The people who are paying tax are like me. Imagine when I'm giving you all these medications which you do not need. How that makes me feel. I'm not being bad. Very bad la. I'm not being judgmental. Very bad la. But seriously. Come when you're sick, not when you're not. And if you're not sick, go, go, act properly la. Alright guys, enough of my rants, I'm just trying. Well, I'll see you next time. Far out. Far out.